What's up, y'all? It's Alan. Back out here on this smoker. Getting the doors off of it right now so I can cut out the top. I'm just using a cutoff wheel to cut these hinges. Just figured it'd probably be easier than the plasma. When I rebuild it, it'll have just one door instead of the two. And get two racks in it instead of the one it had. I should have showed the inside of it from the jump and I didn't even think to do it. But it was just uh, some expanded metal laying in there, both in the firebox and the uh, chamber. And that's it there. The smoker's still in good shape. They just wanted to rebuild it. I mean, the bottom of it or nothing like that has been rotted out of it. I had these cut these pieces out already, and this is going to be kind of the side frame of what we're doing. So it'll be pretty much like one side of the octagon smokers that I build. I tacked a straight edge on there so that I could cut all this out. And then just had a little curved piece that I could hold and do the sides. Just a little easier than doing it all freehand. And that'll take out the whole top of it. Building it up higher like that gives it a little bit more room. And that's kind of the purpose of what's going on here. And they may just like the look of it also. But it just took a little while of moving these things around and getting them straight on there. And then cutting out the plate to put on top of that. And it's just a matter of putting piece by piece. I cut them one at a time. That way I wasn't getting a huge gap anywhere. Sometimes when it's, it seems like when I do them all at once on something like this, I'll end up with one of them a little bit short and I got three eighths gap right there to build up or something. But everything was nice and tight on here. Which is surprising because you know that bows out a lot of times. And actually I ended up flipping this thing on its end because of that one side where the bottom lip of the door was it's kind of bowed out so on the ends it made my gap pretty wide and then kind of closed up in the center but it all came out good you can see there where I had it flipped on its end and that actually worked out pretty good It just took a while to get it all welded up. And that's pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna come back and start getting the door cut in it and the exhaust put on it. 
and everything else. But that'll do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.